Welcome back to Ben Outdoors. And today I'm gonna be collecting some acorns and then I'm gonna be boiling them to get all the tannins out of them and eating them. This is my first time doing it, so let's see how it goes. Squirrels will do is they'll go up in oak trees and they'll actually knock all the acorns down so that they can go get them. And I've actually seen deer go eat the acorns before the squirrels can get to them. While I'm deer hunting, we're gonna go to that spot and see if there's any acorns on the ground. I also got a little bag to put them in. You can see my deer here. Comment down below if you want to see some deer hunting videos. I'll, if y'all want to see them, I'll make them. It's just kind of hard with YouTube strict guidelines. We got an acorn. Let's hope it's not no worms or anything on the inside. Looks pretty good. Well, we got our first acorn of the day. Little update. I've been out here for about uh, seven minutes, and I've got two of them. <laughs> um, pretty sure the deer have got all of them right there. So we're going to head back the way we came from. I've seen a couple of these. I just don't know if they're worth it. And these are quite a bit bigger. I found this really massive pine tree. I mean, this ain't it, huge. Yeah, this just ain't very fun. Ooh, there's an acorn. This is pretty fun. So I'm up here by our house. You can see our house back there and acorns are all over the ground and i think it is so they're just like naturally falling by the wind and no deer are gonna get this close to a house i mean it's looking like i might have enough to make a meal if i am out here for another four hours it's looking more promising but look what i found but actually what we did is we took a hatchet and kind of hid it in this tree that way we could get this um pine sap out of here so when it hardens you can use it for uh making fire I actually use some that pine sap to start a fire in this video right here if you haven't already go check out my video personally i think it was one of my best videos every time i post a video i, I think that but so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my knife and i'm going to cut through the acorn and that is the first step to getting the shell off the acorns so all those brown ones i collected they were not good. So, these are all the ones we've got. We've cut them in half with our knife. Now, we just got to get, I guess they call it meat. Now, we got to get the meat out of them. So, now I'm just going to use my fingers and peel off the outside shell. It's pretty easy. So, after about 30 minutes, this is what we got. So, now, we're going to go boil them. It's been about three minutes, and you can see the water is already orangish yellow from all the tannins that are leaching out. This is only my first boil. I'm gonna repeat this till the water start stops turning brown, and I'll see you then. All right, so I boiled them six times. I put just enough water to cover up the acorns. Here they are. They um, they kind of just look like boiled peanuts. I uh, I don't know what that little white thing is. We'll just uh, set that one to the side. So something that is kind of strange about them is they have kind of like this little um, peel over them. But there we go. I mean, that looks like something you'd buy in the grocery store. Anyway, I expect it. I do expect it to still be a little bitter. As far as I know, you can't really get all the tannins out of these. Um, maybe if you boil them like a hundred times, but um. I don't know if I really like that. They had a kind of like a bitter taste to them. Um, maybe like a, a slight almond taste. They really weren't that good, but I didn't really expect them to be because they're kind of a survival food. So I've got a plan. So what we're gonna do to make, kind of get rid of that bitter taste. And I just, I, I refilled it. I mean, you could completely just keep this in your survival pack. And I've even got three more of them. I mean, this is like, this is pretty useful. 
pour some of that on there. There we go. The maple syrup held for oh, about yeah. 2.3 seconds. They really aren't that good, but your survival situation, you haven't eaten for a week. This this will be pretty good. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And I'll be making more survival videos on my channel. Subscribe so you don't miss out on those.